Since 1984, few details have been released concerning the unsolved disappearance of Sandra Ross. But now, for the very first time, we are sharing her story. The day Ross went missing, she told her husband she was headed to the pharmacy in search of some items for her baby. But when she never returned, her husband became worried and contacted the police. It's been 40 years since then, but now with modern technology and a change in lead investigators, Ross's case is under review from a fresh perspective. We have started from the beginning on this case. We started talking to the friends, um, to the family, um, to the daughter who is now an adult. While investigators are still seeking explanations, now they are sure that Ross never actually made it to the store. Her car and various other belongings were left abandoned outside Cary Village Mall, which is now the new site for Epic Games headquarters here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Investigator Collado also explained that when investigators spoke to store employees, that they had no record that Ross ever had bought anything that day. The friends um, and family um, felt that this was um, out of character for Miss Ross. While many of those who knew Ross had passed away, her daughter Jennifer Buckner agreed to do a Zoom interview with her husband, saying she would be more comfortable speaking to me that way. We didn't talk about my mom growing up. Um, and my paternal grandmother, she talked to me the most about her. Like, like your poor dear mother, and like she would tell me what she knew. Buckner was only 16 months old when her mother disappeared, but over time she has learned bits and pieces of who her mother was. I heard she liked music. Um, but she was smart. But Buckner is still seeking answers. Sandra Ross's story is unique to the area, but not to the nation. Cold cases are incredibly common across the United States. Thousands of cases become cold each year. Agent Nate Thompson works with the SBI to help solve these cases. So there's a, there's a cold case crisis right now because there's really not dedicated people following up on cases that could be solved with a simple, literally as simple as just resubmitting the evidence for today's modern technology. And that resubmission of evidence could make a huge difference to families still seeking answers. It would be life-changing, like, and surreal. Um, I don't know, I might be in denial, because, like, for forever, I've been like, we're not going to get any answers, you know? I guess, like she was saying, I, I think a thing that might help other people would just be to talk about it. Um, yeah. I know it, a lot of it is just, it's painful for her dad, too. Um, that's probably a big part of why it wasn't really talked about. I'm Kristen Brewer reporting.